Canadian authorities in Vancouver have arrested the uh, daughter of uh, Huawei's founder as well as the, the Huawei's CFO. Her name is Meng Wanzhou. She's also known as Sabrina, and this was done on the behest of the U.S. government. Uh, U.S. authorities reportedly want her to appear in court in New York as part of their investigation into whether or not Huawei has uh, violated uh, Iranian sanctions. Her bail hearing is tentatively set for Friday, and the timing of this is being widely questioned here because it turns out, according to Canadian officials, that uh, she was arrested on December 1st, which is the exact same day that President Trump and President Xi were sitting down for dinner and working out their trade deal. So uh, because of that, there are a lot of people who are speculating that the U.S. was aware of this and that this is a message to the Chinese as well as to Chinese companies that uh, they need to abide by certain standards and uh, to uh, change practices which Washington has long seen as unfair. Uh, Huawei has been targeted by the U.S. for about a year uh, to try to curtail some of Huawei's activities in the United States on national security grounds. So Huawei has reacted, putting out a statement about Hmong, saying the company has been providing very little information regarding the charges and is not aware of any wrongdoing by Ms. Meng. The Chinese government has also condemned the arrest. Uh, the uh, embassy in Canada called it a gross violation of human rights. The foreign ministry also uh, today said that they are demanding for her immediate release. Uh, the arrest is expected to harm relations. There was an expert who is very closely connected with the Ministry of Commerce who put um, his thoughts and his take on social media. He said the arrest shows that China shouldn't expect the U.S. to keep its word and instead be fully prepared for a long-term confrontation. Also on social media today, uh, this Huawei arrest was uh, one of the top trending topics and with most people criticizing the U.S. and Canada. And in fact, um, on the, uh, the Weibo account or the social media account of the U.S. Embassy, there was just a flood of all these calls to release Hmong.